Hey, interwebs, welcome to the channel. Today is an exciting day because we're diving into the world of music production. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that follow, subscribe, like, and share. Whatever platform you're on, you know what to do, and I appreciate it. Ever since I first listened to Pink Floyd's epic production, The Wall, I have been interested in what it would be like to be a recording engineer. I really had no understanding of what it took, no access to a recording studio, and no financial means to make any of this a reality. Fast forward to today, I have access to all of this, and so do you. All right, so let's begin with a quick introduction to digital audio workstations, or DAWs, or DAWs. There's a plethora of DAWs out there that can be downloaded, some for free, some paid, some on a prescription basis. Basically, they all do the same thing. There's really no difference in sound quality in whatever DAW you choose, except for possibly Mixbus, which might have some kind of engine built into it that gives it more of a analog sound as compared to digital. The first example is Studio One. And as you can see, you have your tracks up on the top. You have your mixing console on the bottom. And it's very common in almost all DAWs. I want to bring up another one called Reaper. Where again? You have your list of tracks available. And if you go to the view button, you can also bring up the mixer. Now what I really like about Reaper is you have the ability to change the user interface down here in themes. And this is what I love about Reaper. It just gives a feel of working on a real console. And it really doesn't make a difference in the sound or the, or the workflow. It just, for me, I'm a very visual and tactile person, and I just really like the way this looks. And I should note that Reaper has a free trial for you to be able to evaluate it and see how you like it comp as compared to other DAWs. After the free trial, they ask for $60, but if it takes you longer to evaluate, you can extend that at no extra cost, but eventually you're gonna to wanna to pay them the $60 because they, they've done a great job on this and they've worked hard and they, $60 is a pretty good price. It, then you own it. Another great DAW is called Cakewalk. Right now, Cakewalk is free. They are getting ready to start a paid model. But again, the same thing as the other ones. You've got a place for all your tracks. And your console view. This one's got a nice user interface. But it's very similar to an actual console. But what's great about Cakewalk is you have something that's called the Pro Channel which is a basically a channel strip that has all of your of effects right next to the, the track that you're working on. 
If I click on the Pro Channel, it opens up. And here you're going to have a variety of different council styles, compression, EQ, and a saturation tube effect. And what's really great about this is you can open this up on as many channels as you want along your console. And if you don't necessarily like the theme, you can also change the theme. The other stock theme is called Tungsten. Basically, it's just a little bit darker of a theme. Well, We're going to mainly be using Studio One. Like I said, they're all pretty much the same. I'm not extremely fond of the user interface here. It, to me, it just looks a little cartoonish compared to the others. However, because of this little bad boy right here, it works great in conjunction with Studio One since it was also it's also put out by Personas, and it, it runs seamlessly completely integrated with Studio One. And basically it, it allows me to use my hands, to set levels, to use effects, uh, to pretty much do the whole mixing process with my hands rather than a mouse and a keyboard. You can see I'm using it to control this steel guitar right here. I'm not using a mouse at all. And let's give it a little listen. And I'll just show you some basic functions. I'll bring the volume up a little bit. Keep me searching and I'm now if I go over here to the drum section, which is in purple, Highlight all the drums by holding shift, clicking on the first drum and then the last in the drum section, and then I can basically hit solo and just hear the drums. Or I can mute all the drums. Once I have the drums and their levels right where I want it, I can combine all those two into what's called a drum bus. And you'll see because those individual channels are soloed, so is the bus. One little click here, brings it off solo, brings everything back in. I do that with the drums. There's a bus for bass and guitars, and pretty much everything else has a bus. That way I can work on the master buses rather than individual tracks to get an even better balance. I'm gonna solo the drums and solo the bass. Make sure I got a good solid foundation. Bring in guitars. Something doesn't sound right, it's too loud. I can bring it up. I can bring it down. Slowly bring it up to the level I want. I can solo just 
just the vocals. You keep me searching and I'm growing old. Keep me searching for a heart of gold. I've been a miner for a heart of gold. What's also great about Studio One is it has a plethora of its own effects that it comes with. We're using Studio One Artist. There is a free version called Studio One Prime, but it's not gonna have all the effects that we have in the paid Studio One Artist. There's also a subscription model called Studio One Plus. It's about 15 bucks a month right now. It's gonna go up to about 19, but still, with that you get every piece of software that Personas has out. And what I mean by the software, is all these effects. Similar to Cakewalk, there is what could be viewed as similar to the Pro Channel, but it's called the Fat Channel. Just looks a little bit different, but does the same thing. Let's go ahead and add one to a track here. I'm gonna expand all of them. See, you have a high pass filter which cuts out a lot of the low rumbling. A gate which cuts out a lot of noise. A compressor which will make the sound more consistent in volume. And an equalizer to shape the tone. We can change it up a little bit if you want to use a different style compressor. There's what's called a FET style compressor. For a heart of gold. And a tube style compressor. Same thing with the equalizer. You can bring up a passive style equalizer. And also just a vintage classic type equalizer to shape your tone. And as we go on in this series, we're going to talk more in depth about each of these. I'm gonna to try to keep these videos to five minutes or under because I know if you're if you're like me, I've got a pretty short attention span, and after about eight or ten minutes, I'm I'm gone. So I'm gonna to try to keep them short. There might be a few that are a little bit longer just because there's a lot of material, but we'll go over more of an introduction to Studio One, how to download it. There'll be a video on how to set it up, all about the audio interface and the visual interface, creating your first project, recording an audio and MIDI, arranging and editing, mixing your song, exporting the music.